She's clad in white with red hair and pale skin. The Banshee's body is like a thick cloud. The Banshee's complexion ghastly. Some two centuries later, we find another description of the Banshee, this one provided by Lady Wilde in her 1919 book, Ancient Legends of Ireland. In Lady Wilde's interpretation, Banshees appeared differently based on whom they were visiting. And I quote, Sometimes the Banshee assumes the form of some sweet singing virgin of the family who died young and has been given the mission by the invisible powers to become the harbinger of coming doom to her mortal kindred. Or she may be seen at night as a shrouded woman crouched beneath the trees, lamenting with veiled face, or flying past in the moonlight, crying bitterly. And the cry of this spirit is mournful beyond all other sounds on earth, and betokens certain death to some member of the family whenever it is heard in the silence of the night. The size of the banshee is another physical feature that differs between regional accounts. Though some